Hey Crushers, Matteo from JB Crush here, Google My Business Optimization 2023. Welcome into a new video. So in today's video, we are going to analyze a new GMB Wizard Audit document. If you are new to GMB Crush, you can check about GMB Crush at gmbcrush.com. GMB Crush is a local SEO tool that allows you to audit, optimize, track and pitch new SEO clients using just one tool so in today's episode i just want to look into this gmb wizard the overall score is 100 but the listing somehow it's an a okay so it's out of the top 100 so i want to be sure that when it comes to gbp business profile optimization um in terms of category uh, that you understand the importance uh, of having the right primary and additional category as you can see here the spot number two is using just one uh, primary category which is size sitting tour agency and the business here is using tour operator plus several additional categories so it's super important that whenever you are adding new additional categories into your business profile that the content into your uh, into your website is fully reflecting it's mirroring those additional categories so you need to create a single page uh, for each of the additional categories and what i recommend is like checking the number one result uh, website to see how clean uh, the design is, what type of content do, do they have in the home page, um, how did they organize the, the drop down menu, what type of services did they add, what additional pages do they have, do they have like location pages and stuff. So if you want to do this, of course, you can do a manual check, okay? So you can copy and paste uh, the number one um website in into google and just manually check um how the website is or you can also like copy the the link and you can paste it into screen frog screen frog it's a free tool it's an amazing tool so you can come here you can you can download the software you can install it on your computer and then you can insert here the url of uh, the number one spot the number one and then basically the tool is uh, pulling out um, all the page titles, uh, the H1, H2, um, the meta description and etc. And then you can also perform an additional manual check. So as you can see here, the number one spot has a very clean uh, website. Uh, the home page is basically targeting Dunedin as main uh, main location so it's very important that if you are targeting for example Dunedin as your main targeted location that the home page for instance if you are linking your business profile to the home page uh, to, to to the home page of your website you need to be sure that the keywords that you are targeting are being included into the home page or if you are targeting linking and targeting from your business profile uh, a location page you need to be sure that your primary category and your um, primary keyword and your primary location are fully uh, mentioning into the content in terms of h1 h2 content um, pictures or whatever so in this case uh, the number one spot has been fully optimized for the main keyword which is dunedin and it's uh, basically um, you know explaining what type of tours do they do in dunedin and um, what type of uh, tour services do they have and etc so um, in this case um, this this specific business profile um, it's uh, ranking number one and i really like also in the way they have been categorizing the tours okay and uh, the website is very clean and there are like several geo mentioned across the website not only regardless dunedin but also um, about all the other additional 
um, related location to the primary main location which is Dunedin so what I recommend here every time your uh, wizard Audi document shows like 100 here you need to pay more attention about the website of the competition what type of keywords do they have in the home page is the content like mentioning primary and additional locations what type of uh, keywords are they are they targeting through the home page how they are distributing the targeting of all the other additional keywords through service or services or product pages or tool pages of whatever so um, every time you are getting like an 100% score it means that you need to look into more details regardless the website the content into the website how the website has been structured in terms of URL or tour for example you see for example this one is like just having um, a single page for targeting like private tours in uh, Dunedin and this page is just showing up information about private tours so it's also important that you are not um, having like multiple URL targetings um, the same type of keywords I've seen this into uh, several websites you need to be sure that you are adding your targeted keywords into a limited number of URLs and that you are adding uh, content which is highly relevant to that main keywords okay so you don't have to have like multiple pages multiple url targeting similar keywords or the same keywords because in this way you will cannibalize the content and when google crawling uh, is passing by it will not understand to which page should allocate more weight okay because you have like the same keywords through four five six pages it doesn't make any sense so if you have like a an high overall score here and you are still like missing something and your listing is still out um, of the top 100 position you really need to pay attention about a lot of details like uh, as i say such as like your website content the way that you have organized the content on your website so how do you know if you are doing something right or if you are doing something wrong simple it's easy you can just look at the um, the first two uh, websites so you can just open the number one spot website or the number two spot website and you can see how they categorize the content what type of keywords how lengthy the content is uh, the home page of course if the business profile is linking to the home page otherwise you you can also look at uh, any additional page and start to think and start to check how lengthy uh, the content is do they have thousand words do they have two thousand words what uh, keywords are they mentioning here uh, what type of content do they have okay how lengthy the how lengthy the content is and what else do they have in the home page like uh, phone number or additional geo mention uh, uh, regardless additional locations that they are serving with tours and uh, you know site seating and stuff like that so uh, back to this um, back to the additional categories be sure that you have a, a single page for each of uh, those additional categories that your website is well structured and that you are not having like multiple URL containing targeting the same type of keywords or similar keywords because this is going to mess up your overall SEO strategy okay so this is very important and another thing is how age your business listing is because also the age of your business listing or the top three competitor is impacting over the CTR metrics so basically what CTR metrics means that if you have like a business that is popping up over the local three pack 
since like the past three or four years and keeps getting a lot of clicks you need to understand how you can also um, gain more impression more impressions and more clicks from google searches so what you need to do you need to work on your website the content on your website the structure of your website increasing the amount of uh, business posts that you have i have i've seen that you are posting quite often every eight days but in my opinion you should improve the way you are posting so you can through the business post you can also watch the previous video that i made through the business post you can basically insert here like your primary category uh your sorry your primary keywords plus location and then explain um you know elaborate and create content around your uh, primary keyword and your primary location and try to get content um with at least 200 to 220 words 210 words and insert a link back to your website um or to the the tour page so if for example you are in this business post you are talking about Stuart Iceland multi-day tour you should have like more um a, a, a deeper explanation about this tour and the call to action should be like learn more learn more or book now linking back to this specific tour page and not to the contact us page so this is also uh, a way for you to connect the dots and create more connections between your business profile and the content of your website so every time you are talking and writing content for your business post about a specific keyword plus location or a specific tour plus keyword and location be sure that the business post is linking back to the location page okay and then you need to be sure that as i say that you are using more words at least 200 words in this way you will be sure that google will be start paying more attention about your content indexing more the business post and through the business post as I say before, you are not only connect the dots between your Google business profile and the actual content of your website, but you can feed the, the search engines with content that is highly related to what the business does. So you can fit keywords into the business post. You can insert like geo mentions into the business post and it's very important for you to utilize like uh, unique pictures as you are doing this is great you can keep doing this and you can additionally uh, interlink the business post um, if you want to know how you can do this please watch the previous videos i already explained in detail how you can uh, how you can do that okay so back to the wizard document as i say i see that you are posting quite much but i recommend improving the way that you are using the business post on your business profile uh, in terms of uh, reviews you are doing good what i would like to recommend is to get at least four reviews mentioning the word guide or four more reviews mentioning the word beach or four more reviews mentioning sea lions if of course sea lions is something that your company provides in terms of tours for example okay then uh, you can have a look uh, here if you can spot any additional keywords that you are missing out on your business description business description doesn't impact uh, the ranking of your business listing directly but it impacts um, the way that people discover your listing read about your listing clicks over your listing 
the more clicks you get, the more impact you will get in terms of ranking and visibility for, for the business profile, okay? And then, as I say, I strongly recommend you to check all the other sites, how they build the sites, what type of content do they have in the home page? How they be? How they have been structuring uh, the URLs, the the tour pages? If there are like additional pages talking about Dunedin, or not only Dunedin, but also all the other um, additional location or correlated uh, location about Dunedin. Okay. Please watch my previous videos. I In the previous video, you will find more details about how you can create location pages, how you can spot like um, geographical uh, content that needs to be inserted into the location pages to empower the georelevancy of your website. Okay, in terms of uh, uh, speed, the website is also doing well you have got like a good number of uh, indexed pages which is great you have also a good number of backlinks pointing to the website so in this section i don't see anything much to do in my opinion you need to work quite a lot on your website um, i also recommend if you can to leave uh, weeks weeks uh, it's uh, quite limited uh, in my experience in terms of uh, SEO choices uh, versus WordPress, in WordPress you can, uh, you know, you can, you can. It's much more flexible in terms of uh, SEO, SEO plugins, uh, in the way that you can categorize uh, pages, in the way that you can create um, a better uh, URL architecture for, for for your website. So I see, in my opinion, um, you need to work uh, much more on your website, the content of your, of, of your website, the way that you are fitting like um, keywords into, into, into your website. I noticed that you have like URL that looks like similar, such as like Dunedin Tours, for example, and, you know, Dunedin Private Tours and uh, stuff like that. So you need to uh, understand how you can merge some of the content into single pages, avoid having like multiple pages um, containing the same type of keywords or similar keywords. And then um, I strongly recommend you uh, to check the number one or number two spot website and reverse a little bit engineering how the content has been added into the website what type of urls are they using uh, what type of um, keywords are they targeting um, for each for each page and that's it for today i i believe that the key here is like improving your website and the content of your website the url of your website and try to be more clean um, in the design and in, um, in the structure, how you are structuring the content and how you categorizing the content into the website. Okay, guys, uh, that's all for today. Thank you again for watching and see you in the new episode. Have a good day.